Okay, question seven. So you ask us to find this Laplace transform. Uh, it's e to the t times by this step function at t minus eight. So let's look up that on the table. So here's the second last line is a step function. So we have f of t minus a being e to the t and t minus a being u of t minus a, so 8 is, a is 8. So uh, that will come to then, this thing here is e to the, to the minus 8 s, and then big F of s, but how, so to get big F of s we need to know about f of t, we need to transform that as well. So we have f of t, so a is 8, so f of t minus 8 equals e to the t. Okay, so that means that f of t would be um, e to the t plus 8, right? Um, because, you, yeah, replace the t with the t minus 8, you get e to the t. So that's like e to the 8 times e to the t. So how do you Laplace transform that to get f of s? Uh, here at the top we have e to the at, that Laplace transforms. So we have e to the t, that transforms into 1 over s minus 1. So that is our f, big F of s, right? Am I right? f of t, oh, it's actually, we want, we don't want e to the t, we want e to the 8 times e to the t, so big F of s is actually the thing times e to the 8. So the 8 over s minus 1 is our f of s. So over here, we're going to have e to the 8 over s minus 1. So what that whole thing comes to, e to the 8 minus 8 s, so that's like 8 times 1 minus s over s minus 1. Yeah, that's even neater. Even to be even neater, you could write this as e to the minus 8 times s minus 1 over s minus 1. That appeals because you have times s minus 1. So that's what the Laplace transform is, right? That's the answer. Okay, but just write that down. So we have the Laplace transform of u e to the t. It's question 7. A, I think, 7A, you're looking for, asking for the Laplace transform of e to the t, no, I don't, they say you didn't put this curly brackets, e to the t, u of t minus 8, okay, and how did we work it out? We said, we said, well, that's the same as, we wrote it as, we said, that's the same as e to the t minus 8, e to the t, that's what we have. And we said that means, we changed the e to the, we took the e to the t to be like an f of t, or f of t minus 8. So this equals the Laplace transform equals the Laplace transform of u t minus 8 f of t minus 8 where f of t minus 8 equals e to the t. So if f t minus 8 is e to the t, that means that f of t is was e of t plus 8, so e of 8 times e to the t, which meant that f of, big F of s, the Laplace transform of that was, uh, what was it? E to, oh, it was e to the 8 over s minus 1. Okay. And the rule said that the Laplace transform of u t minus 8, f t minus 8 is what? Is, oh, sorry, is u, u t minus 8, f u t minus 8, f t minus 8 is just transforms to e to the minus 8 s big F of s. So that's 
So use the minus eight s big F of s. E to the minus eight s big F of s. And we've got what big F of s is over there. So this whole thing comes to e to the, you know, now you can factorize it nicely, e to the minus eight, s minus one, all over s minus one. Okay, that's it. So question B, seven B. Now you have to find the inverse Laplace transform of e to the minus four s over s squared plus one e to the minus 4s over s squared plus 1. So, e to the minus 4s over s squared plus 1. Is that what it was? e to the minus 4s over s squared plus 1. Okay, so where does that, something like that, appear in our table? e to the minus 4s over s squared plus 1. So that's going to be, let me just clear this. Looking for, trying to do e to the minus 4s over s squared plus 1. So that's like over here. It's like making this e to the e to the minus 4s times by 1 over s squared plus 1. So big F of s is 1 over s squared plus 1. Uh, now, where does 1 over s squared plus 1 appear here? That appears over here. This is 1 over s squared plus 1 if we let a be 1. So that transforms. So our little f of t would be sine of to sine of t. Okay, so the whole thing will then, the whole thing will transform to, what, to, to u of, so a is 4, so t minus 4, f of t minus 4. What is f of t minus 4? We also out what t of t was, f of t minus 4, then it's just change that t to a t minus 4. Okay, so you end up with this. u of t minus 4, sine of t minus 4. That's the Laplace transform, that's the inverse Laplace transform, right? u of t minus 4, sine of t minus 4. Yeah, okay. So now let's um, write all this down. So it was asking for the Laplace transform of e to the minus 4s over s squared plus 1. The Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform, sorry, of e to the minus 4s over s squared or er, minus 1. Sorry, s squared plus 1. Okay, so the way we did that was we said that's the same as. as the Laplace transform, the inverse Laplace transform of e to the minus 4s f of s. Oh, I write a new line. We said that's the same as e to the minus 4s. No, sorry. Same as the inverse Laplace transform of e to the minus 4s times big F of S, where, where um, our big F of S is equal to 1 over S squared plus 1. Okay. And the, the plus problem of that thing is U of T minus 4, little f of T minus 4. So that needs, we just need to, if we have F of S, we need to find, big F of S, we need to find little f of T in terms of that. So little f of T is... It was, we had 1 over s squared plus 1, and that plus transforms back to just sine t. Uh, let me just double check that. 1 over s squared, 1 over s squared plus 1 goes back to sine t, yes. So then that means that f of t minus 4 will just be sine of t minus 4. So we have u of t minus 4, sine of t minus 4. And if we wanted to, we could write this piecewise, but maybe that's the next question, actually. Sketch the graph. Yeah, sketch the graph is easiest to write it piecewise, I think. 
So this is piecewise. This is got two parts. So one part is sine of t. Sorry, the first part is is zero when it's off when you when the step function is off, and then it's sine of t minus four because that u is a step function, and it's, it's changing at four. So this is when t is less than four, and this is when t is greater than or equal to four. Um, now I can never remember, is the step function, does it turn, it turns on at four? Yes, so it's gonna be t greater than or equal to four. Okay, so, and but t less, another bit t less than four. Okay, that's what it is. That really helps us sketching it now because So, what is the domain now? What, what values of t are we allowed? Usually I think you're allowed any real number to be t, right? For Laplace transform. It's the s, it's the s that is restricted. Oh no, so you're often only allowed t greater than zero, right? Is that, is that right? No. t could be anything. s is restricted. I, I can't remember. Ah, let's suppose t could be anything. I mean, in this case, in this case, with this thing, there's no prob there's really no problem with s being s. We have s squared plus one at the bottom of that of that uh, original thing, and so there's no problem with s being any real number. And then we have u t minus four centimeter four. There's no problem with t being any real number. So let's assume that the domain is all the reals. So we have this function, and it's it's zero when we're less than four. Um, okay, so let's draw this. And then it's sine of t minus four. So, it's, so at 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 four, it starts to look like a sine function. But what does the sine function look like at four? Um, four is a little bit bigger than, than pi, isn't it? It's a little bit bigger than pi. Um, a little bigger than pi. A, a pi sine is. Let me draw this. Let me draw this by draw this in a raise to get things going. So we're gonna have we're gonna have a function oh okay. So we're gonna have an x axis and y-axis, then sine looks like sine looks like that. No. Sine looks like that. And so on. Oh no. Sine looks like that and so on. Good enough. Um this is ugh, no that's too small. Let's say that one of li one of the lines is the value of one. So then sine looks like that. Sine looks like that. So on. That value is pi. Oh, this needs to be longer. This value over here is pi plus pi over 2, right? So it's actually 3 pi over 2. But the question is is 4 between those two? I think it is. Because pi is like. 3.141 so timesing that by 3 you're getting like 9 points about 9.3 dividing that by 2 you're getting like yeah you're getting like 4.6 or something like that it's been bigger than 4 so 4 is definitely 4 is over here somewhere so that's 4 
okay, that's where the function starts being non-zero. So all this stuff, all this part of the graph, the function is not actually anything but zero. Okay, now at that point, it starts being something. It starts being the sine of t minus 4, and it carries on being sine of t minus 4. Let me draw some more of it then, I guess. Okay. Um, this point here is well, we've done one whole whole period of pi, it's two pi. And it carries on. And then before that point, so we have open circle because it's uh doesn't include that point, so we have the line on the axis. Ugh. How can I draw this? Like this? No. Here is the line. Put it on the axis. I'm bringing it above, above the axis so you can see that it's there. There ends there because you've got a little circle which includes non transform. Okay, that's what the graph looks like. That's the graph of graph of u t minus 4 sin t minus 4. Is that all the question needed? Yes.